What's good? It's your boy B Hill, Braveheart Entertainment. We back at it again. Man, I'm stepping on shit. Uh, damn, lost my train of thought. Where we going? Oh shit, we back in Newark with this one. Um, DG Huda, never on shit. Shot by Rari Digital. Um, damn, I'm trying to think. Who put me on DG? Oh, Dom. Dom had put me on uh, DG. Dom two times. Shout out to my boy. He, uh, when I did the interview with him, he had put me on a uh, DG. And, bro, I'm going to say this. Ever since I heard of him to now, this motherfucker ain't stopped dropping shit. God damn, he ain't stopped dropping shit at all. No matter what the internet's saying, no matter what Instagram's saying, these blogs saying, because his name in the blogs too, which is stupid fire. Stupid fire, bro. Shout out to them Instagram pages who really showing love to the videos, songs, and everything they doing. Um, DG bringing that sound back. He bringing that. He bringing that sound back. You know what I mean? He, pff, this motherfucker rap grimy as hell. He bringing that shit back, bro. Like, no lie. Like, like I was saying earlier in the other videos, and I've been saying this for mad long, these Nork rappers now, I feel like they trying to water down the sound and they trying to create some whole new shit that really don't represent, I don't want to say represent their city because I'm not from their city, so I don't want to put it that way, but don't represent the state properly. You know what I mean? Like, like I've been saying, Jersey ain't got no sound, but like we all know, each city and each hood going to have a different sound regardless, but DG Huda coming with that. With that grimy shit, with that, uh, with that, I'm a fight, I'm a fight music, with that, I'm a play this bitch, or I'm a knock your ass out music. That's that aggressive shit, which I fucking love, bro. If any of y'all know, Walker used to be my favorite fucking artist. That shit, I was. <laughs> oh man, uh, let's get up into this shit though. DG Huda never on shit. And boom, any props in this video? Anything you see in this video is props. Sit your snitching ass down. Sit your fat ass down. Get your best try. Oh yeah, speaking of that shit, bro. That YouTube, that uh, that little page I just seen too. Y'all real life the feds too. Y'all know better than to put your face or voice on that video. That's why you just be playing all the songs and being like, oh, such and such said this, such and such said that. That YouTube page, y'all, y'all the feds. Don't get it fucked up either. Y'all artists in Newark and Essex County. Don't get excited when that page posts you or they post your song breaking down them bars and lyrics and street names. That page dangerous, bro. I'm going to say it now. What is it? December 19th? I'm saying it. That page dangerous. Oh, I don't give Stamp you on that. the West Coast. I don't give you on the Midwest. I don't give you any down bottom in the dirty. Get your best crowd and call these niggas out. And see what it be there. I started with this, oh, it's crazy, I'm feeling my gut. Them niggas ain't never on shit. And no, I get some of two seasons. I'ma catch that nigga by Cleveland. Best life on the H while I bleed him. Fuck, then I'll feed him. On bro. If you want to smoke, nigga, I me. Fuck, nigga, better duck like Daffy. On bro, this ain't water, some rap beef. Niggas, pimp some shit, they ain't dope. My niggas, they. See, so do y'all see what I'm getting at when I say he bringing that sound back? He bringing that sound back. And it's not even like he putting on a voice to rap, bro. Every song you listen to, he got that, that's that raspy voice. That's that aggressiveness where it sound like he yelling, but he not yelling. It's like he making statements almost. Ain't nobody in my city fucking with me. That's that cocky shit. That's that, yeah. You want to go bar for bar? You want to go, like he said, rap beef. Let's rap beef, bro. Let's bring competitiveness back to this. You say you nice, I say I'm nice. We're going to find out who nicer. But nobody, everybody's scared of being competitive nowadays. Everybody's scared. Nobody want to take an L. Shit, if I was rapping, I'd be calling out all y'all rappers who be making songs like this. But where? DJ, you think you're better than me at rapping? I bet we going in the studio right now, me and you. Boom. That's what we going to do. We going to knock out like five songs together. We going to make a whole video out of it. Yo, who y'all think was better? That's it. Like, nobody want to have fun with this shit no more. It's a rap beef. It's rap, bro. It's entertainment. Let's have fun with this shit. Like this. 
you want smoke, nigga, I me. Fuck, nigga, better duck like Daffy. On bro, the same water, she rap me. Niggas scream some shit they ain't do. My niggas, they loose like screws. What's in my pocket, all booze? See, and this is also why this is like some of my favorite little subgenres of music because people who hop in this lane of rapping, they don't care what people think. They don't care about shit. Go ahead, get on your blogs and say DG Huda not a real rapper because he not spitting bars and rapping over them little 80s, 90s beats. Go ahead, but guess what? He's still rapping and he's still saying some shit. You know what I mean? He's still making this music. That's why they don't know no rapper rapping nowadays like this gives a fuck. Look at all them older not only wanna say older rappers, that would sound crazy. Look at Waka, Chief, all Chicago when they was coming up. You know what I mean? Look at fucking all them older Patterson rappers. Look at them older Nork rappers. Everybody. Once you start some shit, they always gonna laugh at you and say you oh oh you trying to fit in. You trying to you trying to go against the grain by making your own lane with this shit. You not no real rapper. You not spitting bars. You not doing this. But he get up on this bitch aggressive as hell and start rapping like this. And you like, oh, okay, you can make music. And he can. Oh, this. Hate this. this. And I'm start like this. I'm with 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 this. I'm with
DG Huda, I fuck with this shit right here, bro. I'm not even a minute in this song. <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. Go ahead, DG. Go ahead, DG. Get the fuck out the kitchen. He went from the brand new he popped in there. He said, Hey, shot. I put on his ass, he wanna be African. I put on a bro, I ain't wagging in. I ain't like a nigga low. Then we blow, we wagging in. This shit is stupid, go ahead, bro. He killing this shit, and these ad libs is even killing this shit even more because it's adding so much more to this song and it's adding so much more aggressiveness. <laughs> And add in, I don't even got the word. Let's play this bitch. How you gonna run? How you gonna run? You already know who's better. Free 30, free roll bin. Free 30. Y'all niggas know who up on the score. Y'all niggas up on the views. My niggas up on the wall. Headshot, we move like boss. We live, kicking that dog. Y'all niggas know how you motherfuckers rockin' the headshot. We on the floor. And I'ma finish with this. All the shakes that fit in my dick. Them niggas ain't never on shit. And I can see them season. I'ma catch that nigga by Cleveland. But the left on the H while I bleed him. Fuck, then I feed him. I'm brown. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. This shit fire. And I like, I like that. I don't know. This is the way I think of it. I'm sitting here watching this video. Like, all right, DG showing love to his whole city, Nork, and the whole culture they got by throwing in these little dance moves. And doing this little club style beat, but <laughs> go ahead. And I'ma finish with this. All the shakes that fit in my butt. Them niggas ain't never on shit. Never and I'll get shit. through season. I'ma catch that nigga by Cleveland. Let's left on the H while I bleed him. Fuck, then I feed him. I'm proud of him. Oh, that's hard right there. Like I said, bro, this is that type of shit where it's like, it's not even like you could label this like a diss track or nothing like that. Or you can't label this like, oh, such and such talking about such and such, such and such doing this or nothing like that. This is that shit where it's like, I'm sending a message on this, is what I stand on, this, is what I live by. This is how I was raised. These is my morals type shit. From this song and all his other songs, he a competitive motherfucker, bro. He trying to. He really trying to make himself level up in the game and low key trying to make everybody else level up in the game too. Cause it, probably his mindset is like, all right, I'm gonna drop this bitch. Let somebody drop a song after me. And no lie, like, bro, these artists, they could lie to you all they want. They sit in the studio, they room, they car and listen to somebody else's song and be like, yeah, that motherfucker smoked this shit. Damn, that shit is hard. If you real, you going to tell when somebody else's song is hard. You're going to be able to say that shit. Don't, you don't got to say it in public to yourself. Yeah, this little motherfucker did his thing on this beat. Damn, why ain't I think of that? All right, bet. Now I got to one-up him. No, no, it's a game, bro. It's an entertainment. This shit. I love it. DG Huda, never all shit. Shot by uh, Hancho, directed by Rory Digital, Newark, New Jersey. Look, man, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.